It could be a country showdown. Winona versus Kelly Pickler. She's got Derek and the moves. Yeah. Oh. You have a little bit of that? Okay. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. We kind of look kin, don't we? We look like brother and sister. Yeah. We have the same haircut going on. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call this team Battle of the Blondes. Battle of the Blondes, we right here. We do have the same haircut going on, don't we? My inspiration in life. <laughs> Okay, so you laughed within 10 seconds. This is going to be a good pairing. Oh, no, we, we, for me, like, all you really want is to get somebody who's willing to work hard, but also that's fun and has good energy and good personality, and so already, we're already winning, man. We're having a good time. Why do I get the feeling you'll be recording an album or a single before the end of the season together? Oh, he's going to be a real hillbilly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See him do that? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you know he's got musical talent. I know. Um, we'll see. Yeah. He's got to help me break in my dancing shoes first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First things first, right? Yeah. Walking high heels, that's clear, because those are pretty high. Are you ready for the challenge physically of what you're about to experience? Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Um, <laughs> can't, can't bail out now. Um, no, we had our first rehearsal yesterday for a couple hours just to kind of, you know, work on I, I, it out. Yeah, and um, so we're still figuring everything out. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to learning something new. I mean, obviously, I'm not a dancer and definitely not a ballroom dancer. I'm excited, so. though. She's got natural ability, and I, that first day, the first hour or so, is, I'm just kind of figuring out like kind of what she's got. And she's got fantastic legs, and, like, you know, then they straighten, they hyperextend, so it looks really good. And um, just aesthetically, it's going to look really nice. So I, I'm excited. She definitely has the ability and the capacity. So now that I see that in her, it's kind of up to me to sort of bring it out of her, so I'm, I'm uh, so. I think, it's, I think it's a lot harder than it looks because it's so technical and, you know, there's just so many little details and things that make the biggest difference in your performance, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's really hard. You don't just wake up and we'll make you you're a, a great dancer. Yeah. We'll make you a dancer yet, my child. Yes. I was at the premiere of Safe Haven, your sister's movie, and you were there with the whole family, and I asked you about dancing, and you were not dancing, and all of a sudden you're here. What happened? Yes, I I have some projects I'm working on right now, some new television shows I just sold, and that I'm producing, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to uh, to do the season. And, I w- and at the time, I wasn't. But as I got closer to it, I realized that I was just kind of maybe checking it out. You know, I was worried about being too busy. But for me, actually, I, I'm one of those people where you want something done, give it to somebody who's busy. And I think that other projects will benefit from me doing this. And my mind will be flowing, the creativity will be happening. And I think that stimulation will be will pour onto the other projects and be uh, in a positive way. So, so yeah. So, Kelly, everybody brings something different to the dance floor. Somebody, like an Olympic athlete, has determination. They do not like to lose. Um, somebody like Winona Judd is a survivor who... music royalty she is. I'm so excited that she's a part of the but show. what is it that you bring that you don't think the other 11 people necessarily... What's your trait that you think people will say, oh, you've got to go for Team Pickle? I'm crazy. <laughs> she's a bit... She's a bit... Uh, she, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I like it. She's crazy. I'm bringing the crazy <laughs> out here. The crazy. To the dance floor. I got the my crazy crap. shoes on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I think everyone's going to bring something different, you know. Um, I, I just want to have a good time, you know. I mean, this is really an opportunity for me to step outside my comfort zone and just grow. And so I, um, I'm looking forward to it. But you've already grown so much from when you were on American Idol to when I was interviewing you in, in Nashville for CMA Country Christmas until now. I was 19 and green when I got in line for Idol. And, you know, you can't even really compare the two shows because they're both so different. And uh, I guess the only thing that's really in common is the fact that the fans are involved, which is, I think, amazing. I'm excited that we're getting the whole Pick Pickler campaign going on again. <laughs> I will say this. Uh, in my experience doing this for a lot of years, I know that country music fans are rabid and yes. loyal and they want what they want and I think it's because there's a great give and take between country fans and country stars but you you already know going in you have this great country fan base that will be rooting for you along the way. Yeah, well, I hope so. I hope y'all do vote for us. Yeah, vote for us. Feel sorry I, for I, I us and vote for My us. accent is coming out. Like my, her, I, love her, I love her accent but it, it's, I'm starting to pick it up. It's contagious. 
I tell you what, I'm gonna be full on. Y'all ain't run long. Y'all gonna be talking like me. Full on by the end of this. Nobody. Are y'all gonna have to use subtitles? Seriously. It's like I, I, I but it feels so natural. It feels so good. What are you saying? It feels so good to talk. There you go. Like, little, little accent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, I don't feel like I have an accent. I think y'all do. Well, yeah. I just said y'all. I've never said y'all. That's what I'm saying. It's so contagious. I'm contagious. <laughs> they don't make medicine for me. <laughs> Usually, we're telling the professional dancer that they have an unfair advantage because the, the, the celebrity has some experience, but you have an unfair advantage because of this guy. Oh. It's not, I mean, this not, I mean, that's not an unfair advantage. I mean, how many mirror balls do you have? Um, I, I, oh, I didn't know what you meant by that. I was yeah. like, I'm glad he's my partner. <laughs> how, many, how, how many? Um, how many do I have or how many should I have? Oh, oh no. No. I'm just kidding. That was, I'm just kidding. Don't ever use that, please. That's so oh, you know we're going to No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so kidding. I'm so kidding. He's all you know I'm all highfalutin. <laughs> that sounds like a diet. I'm going highfalutin. <laughs> like gluten. Like gluten. I'm a highfalutin, no gluten. <laughs> You're gonna no. You're gonna learn a whole new language. Oh uh, right? no, you don't understand. Like uh, for me, the the, the I one. I got my own words, my own picklerisms, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm already like bewildered by certain things. It's like googling everything. I did. Thing. I was like, what does that mean? Can you give us like some examples? Well, falutin. Like I'm like, what is falutin? I was like, that sounds like some sort of like flute player. What they do when they go out? I'm gonna go falutin. High falutin. Oh, it's high falutin. Half a lutein. So it's a soprano flute player. I'm gonna go half a lutein. Yeah, don't get all uppity up. <laughs> uppity up or, or hoity toity. Oh, yeah, what? what hoity toity? Hoity toity. Yeah. I love it. This is gonna be a fun crowd. Oh man, I love it. What is the biggest thing that you have to work on with her and her moves? Um, oh, well, clearly not that. Um, you know she has she has natural ability and she has natural capacity. Like her legs look fantastic when she straightens them. They're they're hyperextended. So certain things it's all good. Yeah, and, and she looks apart. You know she looks great. Um, I don't know yet. We, 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 really we, we have, have, we have a, I mean, we yet. just found out we were working together yesterday. Oh. Yeah. So we've only had a couple hours. Have you tried to get on the show before, or have they asked? Well, you? I've been asked before, but it just didn't work out, and and it just wasn't the right time. And and so when I was asked again this time. My grandpa Ken lives with my husband and I, and this is his favorite show. Really? And he actually heard me on the phone with my manager when they were we were talking about it. He was eavesdropping. Imagine that, Grandpa. But grandpa. he was eavesdropping. He actually told me that if I didn't do it this time, then I wasn't his favorite granddaughter. I'm his only grandchild. Oh, <laughs> you're stuck with me. No matter what. <laughs> Regardless. So he's actually so excited. Grandpa, Grandpa, Grandpa Ken. Okay, Grandpa Ken. Thank you very much. Yeah. So he, I mean, I have my whole family in general, and all my friends back home are so excited. And okay, can you show me something? Everybody's been giving me like a little taste of what they got, what they're gonna bring. Well, this is our happy dance. So if we do well in the dance, you know, is there any, is there something if like we this? win that ball. Like that. Okay. That's I about it. I can't wait to. Oh yeah. I don't. I can't <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Please vote for us. First we here. need help. <laughs> I can't wait to see how Lynn Goodman is going to score that one. Right? Okay. Listen, oh. I'm telling you right now. Oh yeah. He better score good. <laughs> now, tell me about the, the haircut. I love you in short hair. Did you? Why well, Nona said something about you shaved your head? I did. I well, uh, someone very close to me. Um, that is. She's, I consider her my big sister. She was diagnosed with breast cancer last year, and she had a full mastectomy. And uh, we made a pact that before she started chemo that we would shave our heads together because her nurse actually is a breast cancer survivor, and she had advised Summer that, you know, if you, can, if you shave your head before you start chemo, because it'll start falling out in the first treatment, it's a little less... Trauma, like yeah. You have control over, you have control over yes, that part, I and I think it's easier. Um, I don't know if easier yeah. is the right word, but right. Um, it's I, somewhat a little better than yeah. waking up with it on your pillow or watching it go down the drain in the that's, shower. That's so wonderful. That's we wonderful. just made a pack and we did it, and it's just hair, and that's it grows that's back. No, I'm, unbelievable. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie. When I first I saw a picture of it, I was like, oh, did she go all Britney on us? But. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I saw, but I saw the, uh, I shouldn't say that, sorry. 
but um, but she rocked it really like, amazingly, like like the face. And everybody was like, face. are you gonna wear a wig? And I'm like, no, I'm Beautiful. rocking this. That would defeat the purpose, you That's know? Right. That's fantastic. It was very liberating, and, and it was awesome that we were able to do that together. Right. And oh, yeah. she would have done the same thing for me. I want to ask you about the new show that you're doing with your uh, sister, but before yeah. I ask you about that, uh, Max, no Max this season. No Max. No, no Max. No Max. Max. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's the nature of the show. Uh, I think that, you know. Yeah, I did, people sometimes aren't asked back, and you know Chelsea was in, and Louis and, and Max this season, and you know it's it's the nature of the show, and it, but 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 I suppose not because he's he's been such a regular. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, different dynamic, yeah. So so we're not sure if he just left or if he if the show decided to. Go to another well, it's the nature of the show. Sometimes they don't, you know. Sometimes they just don't. They look at the chemistry of the cast, and sometimes they don't ask people back. Like that's, it's a, an occurrence on each season. I think that happens to certain people. So, okay. yeah. And let's talk about the show, the new show that you have with Julianne. Tell me about it. Very excited. Um, it's, the, it's an idea I had a while ago, and, and being able to work with my sister is fantastic. Uh -huh. um, obviously, it's a world that we know so well. Um, you know, and it's it's obviously drama based in sort of the ballroom world, but it's uh, you know we're, we're going to fictionalize it and elaborate on it, and it's uh, you know it's very dramatic and you know funny and sex okay. drama scripted and, and, and scripted yeah. drama, yeah and, yeah, and you know very sexy and uh, it, it's it's we're very excited. It, the world is so rich, filled with characters already, um, you know that we're we're excited to, to, to just you know bring that up. I just heard that. I didn't know that. What makes you want to do another reality show? Like a reality competition show? Yeah, well, they're two completely different shows, and uh, so you can't even really compare. I think the, really the only thing that it has in common is the fans are, you know, very much involved in voting and, and all that, and it's exciting to kind of get the whole pick pickler thing going again, and I don't know, it's, it's great to step outside your comfort zone and try something new, and, and uh, I think when you do things like that, it helps you grow. We've got some new faces on the pros, and we lost the mask. What do you think? Can the show go on? Oh my God. No, you know, the, the show, uh, it's the nature of the show, you know, people aren't asked back certain seasons and come back, you know, later, and, um, you know, like, Chelsea is the back, and, like, Louis is not back, and Max is the back. It's the nature of the show, um, but, uh, but it'll be a different dynamic, but that's, you know, I guess what that's what it's about, I suppose, and, uh, but I'm excited, I'm excited for the new pros. We, we had a meeting with the producers, like, you know, we always have a meeting before the show, and, you know, we really want to bring, like, the innocence back to, to the show, and, like, and the, the, the positivity and the fun, you know, and not be competitive, but not, we don't want to make it sort of a, a negative competitive piece, you know what I mean, so. You got the best partner, so you must I be know. pretty stoked. I got lucky, didn't I? I got the best partner, I'm so excited yeah? to have Kelly Pickler. I really yeehaw, am. Yeehaw, yeehaw. What is, like, your one go-to move? What is the one thing that you know you can definitely get down pat? Well, I'm not a big clubber. I like the honky tonk, though. Oh, you gotta bounce from honky tonk to honky tonk. So what, what do you that? do? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a low -si -do. Um, do you think that'll be getting on the dance floor at all? I, I, I think we should erase that from our memories right now, <laughs> completely. What was yeah. it that made you come back? You know what? It, it was not being afraid to, to be super busy. You know, yes. not being afraid You've of. You've got so many projects that you're working yeah. on right now. Too. But but I but I feel like I feel like when you're busy, you actually get more things done. You got a good partner. You were we you were, had told us you might not do it. You might not be able to come back. Yeah. But it worked out. Yeah. No. I no. I had. I wasn't coming back. I I, I was busy. I was doing, working on these other projects and. Uh, um, as I was working on them and as these things were rising, I, I, I was like, you know what, I, can, I don't want to wuss out. I, I, can, I can do both. I can juggle both. I can, and actually, I think that they'll benefit from, from doing it. We from believe doing in it. you. Yeah. You can do it. Absolutely. Yeah, we do believe in but also, But also, it's, it, I feel like that when you're busy, you actually tend to get more things done, as yeah. we know from Mr. Secret.